What's going on guys? I'm Nathan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do DIY projects, kayak mods, gear and bait reviews, and fishing technique videos. So if you're into that kind of thing, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you're notified anytime I post a new video. Make sure to leave a comment down below of a video that you would like me to make or a technique that you would like to know more about. Today we're going to talk about barometric pressure and the swim bladder. Stick around. Okay guys, so before we get into all the numbers and all this, all the stuff like that, let's talk about what a swim, blad a swim bladder is. So the swim bladder is a gas filled sac that sits above the organs just below the spine. So it expands and contracts like this. Um, it serves a diff couple different purposes. One, it helps the fish remain buoyant. And two, it acts as a vibration sensor, if you will. So. It helps the fish find bait in murky water. All right, so high pressure, low pressure, and everything in between. That's what we're gonna be talking about today. So when you have high pressure, there's going to be more pressure on the swim bladder. And then the exact opposite when you have low pressure. So there's gonna be less pressure on the swim bladder. Okay, so what is high pressure? Well, high pressure, High barometric pressure is considered 30.5 inches or above, okay? Low barometric pressure is considered 28.5 inches and below. Now, what does a typical high pressure day look like? So that would be sunny. Um, your fish are gonna, often they're gonna search for shade and cover. <clears throat> So that's like in the summer, I know in Texas where I'm from, uh, when you got a hot day or a sunny day, <clears throat> you have to get out early and the bite shuts off about noon. I think that's typically about every state in the, in the summer. But if you don't want to move deep, you just you get off the water and go home, all right? But when it's sunny like that, you fish shade, right? So if you have a tree that's casting shade over the water, that shaded water is obviously going to be cooler than the water around it, so the bass are going to go there and find structure or find something to hide behind so they can ambush their, their prey or an ambush point, right? Typical low pressure day, raining. All right, so when it's raining, the small fish will head shallow and the big fish hunt. Now that also depends on how much it's raining or how, how long it has been raining, okay? So let's, let's go into how barometric pressure affects the bite. All right, so 30.5 to 31.0, the bite will be good. <clears throat> now remember, that's high pressure, so you're gonna need to fish shade, grass lines, grass mats, lily pads, stuff that, that will you know, produce shade for the fish to hide under. Um, so if you can run like a chatterbait down, or a spinnerbait down near the bottom of that grass line, guaranteed you'll, ca you'll catch something, all right? 29.8 to 30.5, the bite's gonna be great. So that's what I like to refer to as your neutral pressure days, all right? <clears throat> now, 29.8 and below, the bite's gonna be poor. Why is that? Because typically, when you have low pressure system, it brings rain. Now, when it rains a lot, the water levels rise and stuff like that, and the fish become, they don't like it, right? Because the water temp fluctuates, the mud on the bottom gets stirred up because of the water moving up and down and the water moving around. So they're gonna be become, they're gonna become less, less active, okay? So let's go from low to high and talk about the different conditions we might face or come or interact with, all right? So low pressures we just talked about, 28.5 and below, and rainy, right? So we just went over that. I'm not gonna insult anybody's intelligence. You guys can rewind the video if you need to, all right? So rising pressure. So you're going from that low pressure to like a mid-range. It's gonna be slight cloud cover and the bite will become more consistent. Um, in my opinion, the reason that is because once it stops raining, 
the water temp can stop fluctuating and it can settle in, right? And then all that grit and grime that's been kicked up can settle down to the bottom and the fish can start to see. <clears throat> so neutral pressure, that's when you're fair weather. Remember, 29.8 to 30.5, that's going to be great fishing. <clears throat> so when it's neutral pressure, it's going to be fair weather, right? And, and the fish are going to resume their normal feeding. High pressure, sunny. Okay, we've already talked about that. Fish shade, cover, yada, 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 right? Now, there's one more scenario that I'd like to talk about, and that's falling pressure. So when you're going from that high barometric pressure and you're falling down to the mid-range, this is the best chance to, f to find and catch fish. So get out there. Make sure you watch your barometric pressures and get out there. All right. So the ideal metric pressure, barometric pressure for bass fishing has been found to be high pressure when you're using the normal hook and line fishing technique. So hook, line, sinker, bobber, or just let it sit on the bottom, right? Now, when you're fishing for, when you're lure fishing, as people call it, so you're, you're running your chatterbaits, your spinnerbaits, your Texas rigs, your jigs, stuff like that, <clears throat> the bass were seen more active in the low pressure systems. Now, in my opinion, that's because the presentations are bigger, right? So if I put a night crawler on a hook and throw it out there, that's about that big around. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not very big, but I throw that jig out there and it expands and then that trailer starts to work. That's a big presentation and that bass is going to pick it up. All right. Another important thing to remember is that not only does barometric pressure affect the activity of bass, but water temp affects the activity of bass. So try to find that good water temp, good barometric pressure, and get out on the water. Regardless, get out on the water and get better at fishing, right? Every time we go out, whether we get skunked or we catch our personal best, it's all about getting better at the craft we love. And that's what this whole channel is about, to make you guys better and for you guys to make me better so we can build a community that takes bass fishing to the next level. That's all I got today. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a comment down below. Uh, spread the word. Let's build a community. Um, so you guys have a great day, and let's make the world a better place.